Good afternoon, oil traders. It is Sunday, August 27th at 5.07 p.m., or just shy of an hour away from the Asian market open. And uh, I thought we'd do a review of the week of August 21st through the 25th, as it was um, volatile and profitable, fortunately for me. Um, I managed to get in on at least part of the volatility uh, and did make a few misses. Um, but on the, uh, on the whole, it was really nice. Uh, it took a total profit of just over $1,500 on the sale of two shorts. It wasn't technically two different shorts because they were bought and sold almost at the same prices. Um, if you take a look at my results page on tradingjournal.ca, um, you can see that on the 21st, um, I sold the short uh, having purchased it at 11.30. This is HOD, um, the Horizon ETF, um, which you can find more information on horizonetfs.com. So I sold, I bought it at 11.30, sold it at 11.78 for four and a quarter percent, um, $877. And then on the 23rd, I repurchased it at almost the same price, 11.32 instead of 11.30. Um, and then on 24th, uh, which was the Thursday, I sold it for 11.68 instead of 11.78 for uh, almost uh, three and a quarter percent. Um, or $653, um, and a total of just over 1500 bucks. So it was, uh, it was really nice. Um, I almost actually ended up buying into that same short again on Friday as we made this uh, climb back up towards 48, um, but my order never got executed, and maybe for the best, because with, uh, with the hurricane hitting Texas, um, I expect volatility. Whether or not it actually has a real impact on crude, um, volatility is pretty much guaranteed. So we shall see. Um, but uh, I did not get in on that short for a third time. The other miss was the bounce. I missed this big bounce. Um, so we dropped here on the 24th um, all the way from kind of the mid 48s um, to the almost to 47 and then climbed back um, up almost uh, back to 48 and I was exp I, as you guys know I was looking to purchase a long but I thought we would make be get below 47 which is where I had my order we of course never cracked 47 and uh, you know ultimately my greed or patience whichever you prefer got in the way of me making another three or four percent um, honestly if we had settled on Thursday near 47 um, near the lows of that day I would have purchased because it would have been good enough. I just expected, I kind of, I anticipated a drop below 47 at least momentarily, which is where I had my purchase order for the long. But basically, we spent uh, Thursday uh, climbing out of that drop um, the whole day, and then Friday it was another attempted drop, um, but right back up to where we started. So um, it wasn't meant to be for my long position and we didn't climb high enough for me to get in on that short for a third time. Um, but it was definitely um, a fun week to play. Um, it was profitable and I think I'm in a good position um, to play on Monday, um, given that I had not purchased that short again. Um, and it's, I think, more than likely that we're gonna be above 48 just as a result of all the hurricane stuff going on, um, hitting Texas. Um, of course, uh, prayers and, uh, and best wishes go out to all those families um, affected. And uh, we'll find out what the ultimate impact is, um, but volatility, I think, is pretty much assured. Um, so yeah, I almost got in um, on both the long, almost got in on the short again on Friday, but neither one um, came to fruition. Um, and maybe for the best, we'll see. Um, it kind of sucks that I missed that long uh, because it was something that I was expecting to, to be able to play and it just didn't uh, materialize for me. Um, and as far as the short, I think there's a good chance that I'll be able to repurchase that short in and around the same price where I purchased them before, kind of that 1130 area, um, which is roughly around 4840. Um, but anything over 48 looks attractive to me to be honest. Um, 4820 is, I think, a steal um, to get in on the short again. Uh, not to say, of course, that I expect that to be a, you know, a, a few hour or 24, 48 hour hold. Um, I may end up holding that for a month if we just keep climbing up into uh, the 50s. Um, I don't anticipate that, but you never know. So uh, play accordingly. Trade scared. 
Um, let me know how you guys did this past week and what your expectations are for the week ahead. You can hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or check me out on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and uh, I'll check with you guys ahead of markets open here on the East Coast uh, ahead of 9.30 a.m. tomorrow on uh, Monday. That is uh, August 28th. Until then, good luck. Cheers.